But we're gonna start with the top five running backs to trade away. So you're welcome in advance. Well, let's just get started. The first running back I think you should trade away is the Arizona Cardinals running back, Kenyon Drake. You know, I really, really like Kenyon Drake. Oh, I thought I did. He's not in a horrible situation. He's getting fed the ball a ton. His production has just been very disappointing. And, you know, I'd rather see myself with a different running back and maybe make a, a trade combo with him, another guy. That's kind of what I would try to do. But I really want to trade him away because... First off, he had a huge game against the Dallas Cowboys, which is really good. It shows that at least he's actually doing okay. He's been getting consistent touchdowns. I think he has three in the past five games, which is really good. But mm, I'm not liking the fact that Kyler Murray is taking away a lot of the runs. Kenny Drake isn't looking very effective. He hasn't been catching the ball that great out of the backfield. And really, he's just not looking like the the running the Kenyon Drake we saw at the end of the 2019 NFL season so that's kind of why I'm trading him away again I guess if you don't you don't have to but you know it, and right now is average he's the top right now he's running as the right now he's the running back 12 at least in standard leagues and PBR is probably a lot further down just because he hasn't been catching a ton of balls but he does have a pretty favorable schedule, I will say that. His next games include Seattle, Miami, Buffalo, Seattle, New England. Uh, I guess you'd be surprised that New England's in this conversation, but they are because they just aren't that great against the rush, especially without like Dante Hightower, especially without Dante Hightower in the mix. So, uh, and they just gave up 100 yards to Philip Lindsay, so that's kind of why. Um, I will say he has a bye after the Seattle game, but if I were you, I would try to trade him right now just because he just had a huge game. It, he's showing some improvement, but over the long run, especially in PPR, I just don't know that he can keep up that production, and he's going to face some tougher teams down the road, so when, when you're in the playoffs, he's going to be ta facing a lot more tougher teams, and this is the, the point where you want to make the move so he's not he's the number he's the first guy second guy i have on my list is david johnson of the texans as much as i like david johnson i just think he is not as productive as i thought he was going to be and you know granted he's actually doing fine in a standard league just like Kenyon drake is like you probably could even keep them if you really wanted to just because standard league for running backs, it's even wide receivers getting eight, nine points isn't horrible. The, the main goal, I would say, in in a standard league would be to get to try and get ten points out of your back every week, if possible. And that's that's just like a running back too. So if you're doing that at flex and you're running back too, you're probably doing okay. Um, but for PPR, he has not been catching balls like I anticipated, and uh, I just base I just sell him based on his upcoming schedule. He still hasn't had 100 yards. I think he's going to break that in the next coming games. I mean, he has a really good looking upcoming schedule. Uh, he, he plays Green Bay, Jacksonville, Cleveland, New England, Detroit. All those people have given up a lot of yards and touchdowns recently. Um, I, I think he has a buy in there somewhere. I forget. But it's not a bad looking schedule for him. So I would basically sell on his up I would sell him based on his upcoming schedule. And if I if you could try to trade him now or after the Green Bay game, which I expect him to get his first 100 yard game, after he does that, I would trade him. And I'd try to get somebody else. Uh, I mean obviously, but um, if he's like your flex, which he probably is, I'd probably in, in a PPR league, I'd go for a wide receiver. I might go for Claypool, like one of the other rookie wide receivers, T. Higgins might not be bad, uh, Justin Jefferson, if you could score him, that'd be good, but I would definitely, he's he's kind of a flex play right now for a lot of people, or running back two, so either get a running back two, or a, a different running back two, I would just get, I would try to train, I would try to aim for uh, another running back two, or a good flex play, uh, possibly even C.D. Lamb, so... If you can get any of those guys, that'd be a good trade. 
in TPR leagues. Third guy I think you should trade away is going to be Joe Mixon of the Cleveland... No, the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, I know he's been known to come on at the end of the season, but it's not looking great, especially because they're giving Gio Bernard carries in the end zone. Th that doesn't make any sense to me, at least. That's not really the reason why. I just think he's... One, I think he has a tough upcoming schedule. Two, like I already said, Gio Bernard is getting more targets as well as rushes than I anticipated him to get. He's not super healthy and just been kind of inconsistent. If you are if you have him in your standard league, he'll be fine probably. But in PPR, again, he hasn't been catching a lot. Uh, he's only really had two decent games. In my opinion, at least for standard leagues, uh, he's had a 12-point game last week, and then it was like a 40-point game, I want to say, in week four. So, other than that, he should not be averaging 12 points a game. It'd be more like eight, and he could probably do a lot better. So, good time to trade him, I think, would be after this Cleveland game, if he does well. If he does, if he gets 100 yards, if he has like 60 yards and a touchdown, I... Uh, and like four reception, I, I trained him. And again, if he's, I, I'd assume he'd be your running back two. Maybe he's your running back one. A guy I would try to snag would be if you could get James, James Conner. Actually, that's kind of. I would just, yeah, I'd trade him. My fourth running back, I think you should trade away, is going to be Todd Gurley of the Atlanta Falcons. The reason. It's not because he's uh, of his health issues. I'm actually fine with the health issues, but he hasn't had any so far. And even if he does, I'd really anticipate it maybe one or two games. I don't think it's going to be an issue. That isn't the issue at hand. The issue at hand for me is his tough upcoming schedule, but also because there's rumors Matt Ryan and Julio might be traded. And if you haven't watched any of their games uh, with... Julio Jones, like not even Matt Ryan, just Julio Jones not there, it makes a huge difference on the offense, and I mean, it could turn out for production, and it could be good for him in terms of PPR leagues, maybe they throw to him more, but if they don't have Julio Jones, and then if they get rid of Matt Ryan, and they have to, I, I don't even know who their backup is, but if they have to put them in, that is going to be significantly worse for you, and I would just recommend possibly trying to trade him as soon as possible. Actually, uh, you don't have to trade him as soon as possible. I take that back. But after he plays Detroit and he has a good game, I I, uh, I trade him, but the rest of his schedule is kind of um, not great. He has to play in his division, the New Orleans Saints. Uh, the, uh, the Bucks. But uh, if, if you look at their schedule, it's not great. And... I'd assume that once they realize if they do end up trading away Julio and Matt Ryan, then uh, even though we'll bring more targets and carries to Todd Gurley, likely, I would assume that they're also gonna teams are gonna stack their box on him, and that's not really good or what you want either. So uh, next on my list, I have James Robinson of the Jacksonville Jaguars. As much as I really like James Robinson which I think I've said that for every player. I think this is the time to sell high. He's been doing really great so far, but to me, based off of his schedule and just the fact that I, he, his, his rush yards aren't great, I just think he, you could get someone pretty good for him because he's pretty hot right now. Uh, he, he's he's number nine at least in standard leagues. Uh, he's probably probably a top twelve guy in PPR as well. But he only he's only had that one one hundred yard game. Uh, even though I do see them running the ball more, like if they're gonna be down a ton, um, which I mean it's, it wouldn't be surprising to anybody I think. But you know this is this is the time to sell him. He's doing he's doing well. He still is getting some touchdowns if you get a better guy for it I would and you know off of that note for the better running backs that I think you should trade for 
that is going to be my next video, and I think you should watch that. That was kind of the end of uh, both my reasoning on James Washington and James Washington, James Robinson, as well as this video. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, as well as uh, like and share the video if you have any questions or comments. Uh, feel free to ask me on my Instagram or Twitter at Fantasy, or just leave a comment. But definitely follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Fantasy. That was it. Uh, thanks for watching and listening. Uh, peace.